What is up guys? Welcome back for another YouTube channel. I know it's been It's been like 10 years. I don't know. I got my girlfriend there. She's holding the door. Actually, I can't even point to her. Today, I'm going to show you guys, kind of catch you guys up to speed what's been going on with this whole COVID stuff, how crazy it's been, what I've been up to, my new project, or I should say our new project so we bought a 1997 Toyota 4 runner it's a four-wheel drive factory rear locker my dad's friend was selling it came up on a great deal we had the money to spare we haven't been spending money because of covid we picked it up we got it now we're just gonna go clean it out I'll take you guys on a little tour what's to come with it so with that being said i mean let's just go let's go check it out guys just got done vacuuming and let me guys show me show you guys some so I wanted to take this off before I did the little tour and walk around but the car before had subwoofer amplifier and everything hooked up uh, to be honest with you it still sounded like it still sounded like absolute dog shit so I was like me I'm not a big sound person especially for what about the car for strictly off-roading overlanding so and it was just taking up space so i wanted to go ahead and just remove it obviously these were connected to the battery so they're live wires but i just disconnected the battery so we're cool but i mean they have like whoever owned the car before possibly prior just had all the wires and i mean they go pretty much all the way there leading up to the battery so i'm trying to take it off all at once See this cable so I'm trying to just take it off all at once so that way I can possibly sell it all together but as you can see here it goes through here these wires I'm assuming split off and they have to go towards the towards the actual player which to be honest with you I want to replace anyways so but I gotta take this panel off and then try to pull it or I'm gonna either cut it split I mean I don't know probably just cut it and uh, send it on its way. So yeah, that's what I'm currently doing. So I'll probably just have my girlfriend record me. putting a like a second battery in here because I do want to run lights uh, a lot of lights and that shit you know takes up in a refrigerator yeah and that shit just takes up a lot of power so I might do do like a dual battery system and kind of see how people do it Let me see. So now that we took the power off, now it's for the actual connections to the radio. Um, I'm hoping I don't have to take that off, but if I did, let me take a quick break over here. Oh my God. But. Does the radio work right now? Yeah, the radio right. works fine. But that's connected to the radio or something? Yeah. Oh boy. No, that's connected to the amplifier. All right guys, update. Look at that. This like somehow turned into like, just doing something really quick to showcase the car and what we got until like, until, I don't even know. What do you, what do you want to call this mess? Like, what, the car or the stereo? Just like this whole mess, like look at all this. Just 
This Thank is the you. boring stuff. So let me hurry up, wrap this up. I think we got to figure it out. And we'll showcase the car. All right, guys, finally, after like, after like, what, like five hours? Like two. Okay, after like two, three hours, sorry, it's like kind of a weird spot. We finally got it done. So, we took out that piece of ish and amplifier, but whatever. So there it is, 1997 Forerunner. Let me start off with the exterior before I go inside. So it needs, for sure, a new spring and coil. It needs a new axle, as you can see there. The boot is just gone. Those bushings on that too. It needs a new hub bearing. It needs new rotors, new pads. As you can see here in the, uh, I think, focus groove of the tires, just gone. Needs a lot of shit. A couple of dings and dents, but it's a 97. And what I want to use it for is eventually heavy trails, um, rock crawling. Stuff like that. And I believe it did have the tow package. So it comes with that. And I think it has a an extra feature for, I don't know. I didn't really look too much into it. And it is a limited model as well. I think those are Tacoma wheels. Which kind of not a fan of. And then, yeah, a couple of oxidation. This is just going to fly off the freeway one day, as you can see. That's... Cool, I guess. But yeah. Let me show you guys the inside. Inside. Yeah, the inside. I don't I'm not too sure what happened. I think he I don't know. Either he had a tiger or a bear in here and they just fucking went crazy. So I don't know. But uh we need to do something about this situation. It's not the most comfortable. And also I Almost positive you're not supposed to be inhaling, breathing, or you know, breathing this stuff in. So we just fixed the dash a little bit, um, but even then, there's some, some slight gap issues that is probably gonna drive me crazy. But after like two hours, I was just said, "Fuck it." Steering wheel, same thing. So it's very minor things, like getting in it. It does have 240,000 miles. It is a lot, a lot of miles. Same time, these cars can go easily 300,000 plus with good maintenance. This was a buddy of my dad's who is a Toyota mechanic. So mechanically, it's okay. He just bought a car, his wife a car, and they have a family Lexus SUV. So this car just sat there for, I don't even know. He didn't really tell me. I'm going to go ahead and assume probably for like a good year. He said I didn't drive it much because it needed the axles. And yeah, go figure. I just drive it around town. Don't really do, I don't drive it too far. I already bought the two axles, two hub bearings, just waiting on the two lower ball joints and rotors and pads just to do everything I want. That's pretty much it. This seat is not as bad. It's definitely gonna get the job done for what we need it. Excuse the sign, but yeah. Owner was cool. Left me his, uh, his dirty socks. I got the amp there, driver's side mat that, that uh, yeah, I don't know. Some questionable decisions were made. I think we're done here. Pretty much it, 97 Forerunner. I plan to take it, you know, on have some heavy trails, rock crawling, overlanding, possibly, and then just go from there. That is something that me and Raquel, my girlfriend, are gonna work on, and we wanna make it our thing. So, expect some big changes coming on. Alright guys, with that being said, I'm out of here, and I'll catch you guys on the next video.